What's going on guys? It's me, Vicstar123, with um, Team Copycat on MW2. So this is, I guess, what you'd call an, an exclusive? I don't know, something like that. But yeah, you ain't gonna see Team Copycat on any of the other Call of Duties. So, first of all, um, what is Co Team Copycat, I hear you ask? I don't, I don't actually, I'm just like supposing that that might be something you'd want to know before you just like, what what is this? I don't even. Um, so. What it is, is only get kills with copied classes. Sounds simple enough, but extremely challenging gameplay. You have to die four times before you can even start getting kills. When you've got six people, um, they've got to all die four times. That's 24 deaths before you can even get a kill. You know, if they're lucky, one of them's going to pull out a chopper gun or a predator, so that made this really awkward. Pretty much just boosting them kills um, with my tactical surgeon. I actually made that guy kill himself, which is a win, because I broke his kill streak after two kills. Um... I was just like, ooh, Semtex, boom. Um, so, basically, you've got to get a two-kill death ratio when you have copied classes, which is made harder by the fact that they've already got some kill streaks by this point, and um, you're not using your own class, you're using one of their classes. So, straight off, I steal this class, and I'm like, really? Cold-blooded um, M21. But I was like, whatever, let's go to work. So, um, you know, this is, this is just kind of typical because we were all joking about what class we'd end up getting and somehow I just knew I'd end up with one of the um, annoying classes like this so basically I was sticking with the 2kd thing and I picked up a sniper class so I was going to play like a sniper and like a cold blooded noob sniper so um, just hanging around in windows got to top rail and hard scope the life out of anyone who comes and tries to bother me so fairly standard um, what else are you going to do so, yeah, just picking off guys like this guy, and actually using the M21 and just absolutely spraying out a clip is usually quite a decent way to um, get killed, and oh my god, like, I'm actually melting sat here, basically, um, if you've seen my old setup video, um, basically the room I'm in has two glass skylights, um, one like side of it's completely glass and then there's a window on the other side, so it's basically like a, it's like a conservatory pretty much, and it just gets baking hot and I'm probably going to melt soon, so I need to go and swipe from some windows. But yeah, it's September, September the 28th, and um, it's absolutely boiling, it's just like, this is England, this isn't somewhere where it's supposed to be boiling, it's probably global warming, in fact, it's probably not global warming, um, so, oh man, I'm actually melting so um yeah it's probably not global warming but it's really hot it's supposed to be like the hottest september since records began i'm sure like every year there's something that's like since records began last year we had the um coldest winter since records began and oh and i failed the jump to this bit here didn't i, I just flopped um but that's quite a good jumping route it works quite well and here i just um pull out my second year because i got bored of sitting around but then i come here and i continue sitting around so i don't even know what i'm doing but um, Team Copycat was quite a hard gameplay and um, we got quite lucky with it um, in reality. I mean, um, we could have kept on going for like another hour and possibly got a better gameplay, but um, literally we were struggling to even get a win, let alone um, a great game. So um, I was quite happy with getting a pred on this life and then just dropping it in for the double kill. Oh, double, that was a single. How did that happen? Whatever. Um, so. That's it, you can see it on the screen there, that little AC-130, and that saved the game pretty much. Um, it was neck and neck up until this point, we get the AC-130 in, and boom, 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 they're dead. And I get my Harriers, and I think I had Chopper Gunner on as well, so it's a real shame that um, that was just a bad play there. As you saw, um, I decided to go prone to call in my Harrier when I was straight in the middle of the enemy's um, half, and um, the guy had cold-blooded, so I didn't think there was anyone near me, thought I was safe, I wasn't, he took me out, and... Then I had to copy back to his bad class again, and that was just a shocking play there. Um, watching that back, I could have done a lot better. So then I'm kind of back to square one. Um, what do I do now? Well, I guess I've just got to die another four times. But yeah, that was a really unfortunate situation, because if I'd have actually stayed alert, not stopped calling that Harrier, I could have probably killed that guy and then called my Harrier and um, perhaps got a... Um, got a what do you call it, chopper gunner, and then obviously with the AC-130 would have gone absolutely um, mental and killed them, so um, 
that's what happened there. And unfortunately, killing yourself doesn't count towards copycat um, kill streak. That would have made things a lot easier. So as you can see here, it's kind of neck and neck, and it was like this for um, most of the games. The eighty-one thirty actually got shot down quite quickly. So I'm not sure if it actually affected the game that much, but um, whatever. So. Basically, this is kind of like Team Comeback with a slant, and like um, it's Team Comeback, but obviously you've got to um, kind of get the deaths mid-game. You don't get them all at once. In fact, that just reminds me. I need to do Team Comeback um, on uh, Team Comeback on what do you call it? On the other Call of Duties. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, I don't know why I used YouTube then. That wasn't a, that wasn't a cool thing to do. Um, we, I think that just by this point we were so desperate to get a win out of Team Copycat that we were going to go to any length. So, you can kind of see us all here playing like you saw. I was kind of going forward, stepping back, going forward, stepping back, playing quite defensively. Got the pro pipe or the noob tube, whatever you want to call it. Um, that would have been quite nice if I'd aimed high with that. I probably would have got the kill. So, um, just take the high ground. High ground's always a good idea. Um, just pick up that guy there. I mean, um, you can actually watch the barrels bit of the map really well from up top up here. Um, and again, if I'd have had, um, did this class have stopping power on? I don't think it did somehow. Um, then unfortunately comes up behind me, and I've got an even weirder class. See, look at this. Just the enemy were using really weird class. None of them seem to have stopping power on. This one's got lightweight. And when you're used to using guns um, with stopping power, it can be quite confusing using them without stopping power because you're not entirely sure how many bullets you need to put in. Um, but then I wasn't too fussed because this class had Model 1887s on, and I was like, yes, let's get some of the action with those. In fact, I don't think I even did. They just kept running away from me. Um, two of them had cold-blooded by the looks of things, so um, it's just a matter of trying to find them. Oh, and one thing, um, guys... I've got a question. When we're doing quite challenging gameplays like this, where um, kind of um, as if we just got a chopper gunner in a care package, so we get an AC and a chopper gunner in a care package in the same game. That's mental. But anyway, yeah, guys, do you think we should be able to use lethal kill streaks on? Because um, usually I say no, but this was like quite a hard gameplay, so I decided to go for it. But what do you think, guys? Um, let me know in a comment below what you think about using lethal kill streaks on games like this. Because think on weapon ones, like a certain weapon, definitely make it only kills with that weapon. But for this, I don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. If you could like and favorite, I would really appreciate it. As always.